welcome to Ask Win, everyone, and welcome to the artwork of CP. Happy Thanksgiving 2020. Yeah, 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 I can't believe we're celebrating Thanksgiving in a pandemic, which um, for those of you that will listen to this on the Amazon smart speaker that begins with a A, yes, well, in Amazon smart speaker, and I have a programming note about Amazon smart speaker. I have opened up every single episode to binge so as you're popping turkeys in the oven without dropping the turkeys on the floor, or uh, as you're popping the chicken in the oven, or the ham, thank you very much, um, just as you go and wash your hands, like the CDC says a million times, and as you go uh, to the Zoom dinner table, thank you very much, social distancing, and um, and so as you go pop whatever you're baking in the um, in the oven, you can go to your Amazon smart smart speaker and say, Miss Amazon smart speaker, play Ask Win. And because <laughs> Ask Win is now open up, um, Ask Win will start playing, and you may have to ask Miss Amazon smart speaker a couple times but she's good at what she does so as long as miss amazon smart speaker is um updated she's good at what she does and you can um ask amazon smart speaker to play it in pandora too but um a lot of people use amazon music slash audible for those of you that have the Audible app, you can actually play Ask Win via the Audible app. And for those of you that have Google, you can ask, hey, Google, hey, smart speaker on a GN, you can um, ask Google to play that app. Action will actually tune in as well. So let's spread the Thanksgiving cheer via Ask Win too. And so you, if your family and friends walk in and say, what's that? You can explain. You guys can explain. I'm making you guys be the marketing people today because I need your help. And that being said, I want to kick it off this way. And I want to thank you guys for listening, both and listening to all three podcasts, even though the artwork of the amazing voices of teachers is a little bit on hiatus right now due to everything that got in my way while doing it. And so I want to thank you guys for listening and being supportive and sharing my journey with me and yeah and i'm also grateful for and i'll explain it this way because this is the best way i can explain it i am for those of you um that play chess you will get this analogy my family is the my stepmom and I are the white pieces. My family, my biological family on my mom's side, is the black pieces. I'm sorry, but they are the black pieces. And so my stepmom and my stepmom, who is completely in support of this next move of mine is saying that I need to be in a place where I can achieve my dreams and grow and thrive. And my um, family is, who doesn't like my mom, let's just put it that way, they don't like my biological mom, they um, barely got along with my, they don't like my 
stepmom. They've barely gone along with my biological mom. And even though she was blood related. And then um, they don't, they didn't, they barely gone along with my dad. So even though he was brother in law and all that good stuff married into the family. So basically, my stepmom and I are the um, white pieces. And if you know Chess and all, if you know Chess and all, you know, you make one move, the white pieces make one move. And black pieces make another move. Well, black pieces came at me yesterday, and I was literally in my car, and I was literally driving home from the um, snow mask up. I and yesterday was the twenty fourth of November, and so black pieces came at me by email. They sent me a forwarded email saying that the Stuart Holman School is excited to have you on a Zoom tour. And so I went back. I was very nice about it. I said, confirm, which this tour is happening next Tuesday. And I said, confirm. And then the white piece um, Google and Google and Google. And so I'm in the white piece and I Google. I typed in Google last night and I typed in, I said, what, a, what group homes deal with cerebral palsy? I found a list that deals with CP in all across this country. And then I nailed it down. What group homes deal with cerebral palsy in Florida? I found not one, but two homes. And I found one that I did not know about. I knew about the other one. And so I'm asking all these group homes including the Stuart Home and School, that, to my knowledge, primarily um, deals with Down syndrome, because I know this, because I have friend, I had a friend that went, and Danielle knows this person, that went to the um, Stuart Home and School, and that's where he, other than, um, when we saw him out at Challenge Aspen, that's where he spent most of his time. Now, granted, he was, he had Down syndrome and loved it. And so, and my stepmom, being my stepmom, she is concerned about the activities. And what I told her is activities are not an issue for me. <laughs> Doing activities are not an issue for me. And then the roommates are not an issue for me. The issue, and of course, the 24 hour care is an extra bonus. The issue is the Down syndrome and me being the ugly duckling at the Stuart Holman School. And the issue is that I can live in a tiny room as long as I have my laptop and as long as I have a good internet connection, I could work from anywhere. And as a freelance journalist, I can do school from anywhere as a student. And so I don't really need the school component. I need a home component, but I, so the black pieces went one way. The white piece, me, went to Google and Googled away. And 
I said, I will play this game. I will play put win in a home game. And we will, um, we will come to the right conclusion. And, and then I, I haven't told them that, um, I haven't told them this part yet, but I will today. And I will say, you're welcome to screen my aides. You're welcome to um, screen my aides and you're welcome to um, screen my aides just to make sure they're good. And my aides are welcome to go through the interview process with you guys. But please let me pick my own aides and let me, like the responsible adult that I am, even though I have a disability, um, let me live my own life. Because I am not, I am my own adult. I am not controlled by anyone else. So white piece went the logical way. Black pieces glommed on to the Stuart Holman School. And that's where they think they're going to stick me. Now, again, I'm asking all these questions of the dean of the student home in school, uh, who's ever going to tour the student home in school with me. But yeah, so that's the update on that. And I'm grateful for you guys' support. I'm also grateful for making this transition. I'm also grateful for my own family that is allowing me, that still loves me, and is allowing me to um, make this transition. <coughs> and I'm also grateful that despite the asthmatic cough you guys just heard, I'm also grateful that I'm getting the asthma diagnosis because um, that will change my um, way, that will change my way of thinking when I um, go look at these homes. Because with asthma, you need more care than you do with cerebral palsy. Asthma is equaled out to as you can die with cerebral palsy, but asthma will take you down in two seconds flat. I know this because my mother was asthmatic and she had a very interesting time with asthma. And her asthma was never quite, it didn't go away. And I have other family members with asthma too. And so asthma, unlike cerebral palsy, could take you down in two seconds flat. So I'm grateful that I am getting diagnosed with asthma. And I am grateful that I still have friends and family and chosen family that wants to take care of me and love me and put me in the right place. And I'm also grateful that I'm able to essentially live on my own with help. And I am grateful that number one, and I should have put this as number one, I'm grateful that I don't have COVID. I'm grateful that I did what I did back in March and that I um, do take my temperature once a week only because I'm working out. Um, they need to do a temperature check on me. And they ask me every single time, have you been exposed? And the answer is still no. And when I make this transition, I'm hope I'm hoping it's going to be in May, but when I make this transition, either in May or my drop dead deadline is September to get myself out of 
here out of Aspen. And my job then, then when it's actually on it, not September 11th, if everything goes according to plan. And so I'm grateful that I have the friends and the powers of be that could that could take me to where the universe wants to take me. And I'm hoping that I still have the same system that I have up here because I'm hoping that my family will um, come to the conclusion that um, home in-home health care in-home health care consumer direct and support services is a good thing in time of COVID. And then we'll um, make it totally different wherever the universe lands up. I'm hoping it's an honor, but um, we have to see where the universe lands me up. But um, I am hoping that they will see where I am happy. And I'm hoping that they will understand that it will be a totally different situation in Florida because what they are, I've come into the conclusion, what they're looking for is a companion situation. And now when you eliminate COVID and when you eliminate this white stuff called snow, um, it's a heck of a lot easier to be a companion to a person who has two things eliminated. It's a little bit difficult to be a companion um, to a person when you have a world pandemic going on and when your main job is a housekeeper and you um, your consumer directed support services come only in the morning and only at night. Your main job is a housekeeper. And let's not forget, it's extremely difficult when you have a world pandemic and a person at risk to get COVID. And so, yeah. So in the fauna, I've decided um, and hopefully they will agree with me that home health care is a good thing. And as I said, I will let them see the age that I have chosen and I will let them run their paces. I will be in the interview um, selection myself and I will let them run, let my family run their paces. And I'm hoping that they have, they will see that come to the conclusion that um, consumer directed support services is the best thing for win. And I'm hoping that I do land up in Florida and I will make a totally different situation down there. I will um, not only hire four aides, four aides, um, three as um, three as full time, one as backup. I will hire a housekeeper. So then, I will hire a housekeeper so that consumer directed support services will go towards me and the housekeeper will come, the housekeeper budget, we hope, will come out of some place else. So then my aides can focus on me and then my aides can focus on me and that's the way I would like it.
Now I'm going, as I said, I'm playing a chess game with my family. I'm going to um, be the white and positive piece. And then I am going to let the black pieces play with me on Tuesday. And I'm actually going to tour the Stuart Holman School. And then I'm going to ask those questions of the Stuart Holman School and state my piece. And I have already stated my piece to my family. And then we'll see what happens. But right now I'm asking the universe, universe, where do you want me? Where do you think I'll succeed? Um, meaning, and I put this challenge to you guys because um, I know that a lot of you guys are moving and a lot of you guys are trying to get out of Dodge of a world pandemic. He he he. I'm trying to get out of Dodge of a world pandemic too. And so, um, and I'm trying to get better medical care for myself because I'm going to be doubly diagnosed, doubly blessed with two diagnoses. Here. And so I'm trying to get out of the pandemic's way. So I put this challenge to you guys. Instead of saying, I don't want to do something, I don't want to move, I don't know where I'm going, say, ask the universe. Say, universe, where do you want to put me? Where do you want me to thrive and succeed? And now I'm going to turn it over to my trusted BFF slash my, slash my co host to go over what she's grateful for. Well, yes, and she's probably grateful for that she doesn't have COVID either. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. I just thought I would answer that. I'm grateful for that I don't. <laughs> I'm grateful that I can help my BFF. I'm grateful that I can spend time with my family, and um, my my own family wanted to get co in cahoots with me about the podcast, and I said I would agree to certain things uh, along with the podcast. The podcast isn't coming down. The podcast isn't coming down. I mean, I built this platform up for 10 years now, and I've built it up for 10 years, and people have watched me do this and go woman go. And But I have agreed to... Uh, couple things that have been brought to my attention and um, and so I will do those couple things but um, other than that the podcast isn't coming down so happy Thanksgiving 2020 you guys and I hope you guys um, ask the Amazon smart speaker or the Google smart speaker to um, play Ask Win slash the artwork of CP. This will be going on the artwork of CP feed too because I know I have listeners over there. And so happy Thanksgiving, you guys. And that's my challenge for you guys. My challenge is for those of us who are on this drug loss trying to attack a world pandemic um, and not let it get the best of us. Say, ask the universe, where do you want to put me? Where do you want me to succeed? And so that's what I'm doing. And hopefully the universe gives me an answer that I want. But if the um, universe gives me a care home and if the universe says 
you now need to literally teach um, people who don't have terrible policy. And then I'm perfectly fine. I'll teach people that, about cerebral palsy that don't have cerebral palsy. But since I don't have an intellectual disability and Down syndrome is more of an intellectual disability, depending on the spectrum of Down syndrome, depending on where you are of the spectrum, you um, you can get non-verbal Down syndrome or you can get totally savant down syndrome and I had I have I had one friend who actually went to the Stuart Holman school as I sent you guys. Um that's how I found out about it. I so when this idea was presented to me last year I'm like, oh boy, I know about the school. I have a friend and I actually called that friend's mom. And I said, look, this is what's happening. And to quote her, she goes, when you would be a better teacher down there than you would be a student. You don't have Down syndrome. You are bright and intelligent. And so we leave it at that. And I, um, and I went back to the chess piece, the white chess piece last year, went back to my family and said, look, this is what a friend of mine said. And so if I if I have to um, finagle my way to keep down syndrome in the home, I will, but we'll see what happens. And I'm going to let you guys go. Enjoy your Thanksgiving, and we'll leave it at that. And thanks so much for following us, you guys. And yeah. 2020, the end of 2020, the best yet it can be. And let's put ourselves on good direction for 2021. Yeah. Uh, uh, see. Oh, yes, you agree. You agree. I have the agree monster. I have the agree monster. I have, yes, I uh, and she wants the best of me to you guys. So I have the agree monster and I have the I want what's best for you mean monster on the other yeah. end. Yes. <laughs> so uh, thank you for calling us and I appreciate your support and Danielle appreciates your support and we'll see you guys next week. Bye you guys. Bye.